Hey guys, Stacy here with Rockasop. Thank you so much for joining me today. Today I am going to dive a little deeper into how to use the Rockasoft Macro Manager in our PTZ Joy Controller software to create scripts of commands called macros to control your PTZ cameras and your live production equipment such as TriCaster, vMix, Panasonic switchers, and other equipment that can request external um, or accept external HTTP requests. So it is kind of challenging to give you a full range of examples because there is just really the only limit is your imagination with this tool. But I want to show you some of the different ways that you can use the macro manager and automate and simplify your workflow. So today I am working with the vMix where you can, as you can see on my screen, and I have several PTZ cameras set up in my studio here. So let me start by explaining to you uh, what the macro manager is and what it can do and then show you some examples with my setup. So the way that you access the macro manager is you're going to go up to um, the interface here on PTZ Joy and you're going to click on the macro button and then this window will show your macros. Um, and to open up a macro shortcut, you pretty much just right click on the macro and as you can see let me actually close some of this here as you can see there are nine little lines here where you can write your commands um, to create a macro script um, these commands can also be run separately um, by clicking these little buttons here um, there is also an area where you can input the time. So if you look here, there's these little numbers. Um, you can input the time at which you want your macro to, ru um, to run after you press the macro shortcut. Um, this can be done in increments of as little as a tenth of a second, um, but typically it's done in second increments. In terms of setting a script to control your PTZ cameras, PTZ Joy has a robust list of commands um, that you can input into these fields. So things like, let me just run down here, things like pan, tilt, zoom movements um, for your cameras to move in a specific trajectory or even you can even create like a camera trace. Um, you can switch cameras, you can call on presets. If using our in-app presets, you can um, switch between your in-cam and in-app presets to change the speed of the pan, tilt, zoom movements between uh, preset transitions. Um, you can have all your cameras go to a specific preset simultaneously. Um, you can even schedule to run macro, a different macro set at the end of this current macro set. You can send hex commands. You can um, also run scripts from your computer. So there's just a, a host of things and I will provide a list um, of, of this. I, I'll link um, to our knowledge base where I'll have all these commands. One thing to note um, is that before you create a script in this macro manager, you're gonna wanna make sure that you have all of your um, presets set up. So. Um, everything configured in the program. All your cameras are um, set up, configured, connected. All of your presets are set up. Um, if you're using in-app presets, you definitely want to make sure that the that you have your uh, speed settings set up for the preset transitions. Um, so in terms of creating scripts to control live streaming equipment, there are so many different um, options and each system has its own shortcut function reference guides that list all of their um, different shortcuts that you can script in um, a macro set in the PTZ Joy macro manager. So things like switching your, um, your preview input, whatever camera is in your preview input to the live output input. You can execute a transition effect, you can execute an overlay, or a lower third, um, and literally so much more. So as I said, I will post this in our knowledge base and below this video um, and give you some of these third-party reference um, guides. Uh, so 
Let's look at the macro manager. So we have some examples in the macro manager. I've already set up um, a few here, but if you ever need an example script, you can just click up top here and this little window will pop up. And here are some you know, samples for the, some of the local PTZ Joy controls. Um, then for like a TriCaster, we have some, some examples of just the syntax that we use to simplify everything. Um, same thing with Femix. Um, there's a custom example, let me see, and then another example here. But let me go ahead and um, clear all this out and just kind of show you some of the macros that I've created that are, that are pretty um, simple and very convenient actually. So this first row here, this row, if you can look here, this is basically just saying that um, I want my camera one to go to preset one and go into the preview window of my vmix machine so these three are kind of similar so let's run through them let me show you so it's moving to a, my preset for camera one and putting it in the preview window now if i wanted to send this to the live output on my on my you know if i'm if i'm live streaming live um, I, and I wanted this to go to my, my live uh, video, I would just, I created a macro to do that, and you can see it here, and it just sends this cam one, um, and the preset in cam one to the live feed. So I kind of did this for all my three camera inputs, so let me just kind of run through these so you can see. See, it sends it to that particular camera's preset, um, position and then I can send it to the live feed. Uh, same thing with this one. Okay, it goes to a preset and then I can send it live um, that way. And then I have a cool little one that I made so I just wanted all of our, you can see it, all of our cameras go to our little Rockasoft robot here. Um, so yeah. Let me see, oh, another preset that um, I created, let me show you. This one, so let me run it. This one basically puts, let's run it. So it moves my camera, one of my cameras to its preset in the preview window of my, v, of my vMix, then it sends it live. And then it moves my second camera to its preset in the preview window, and then it sends it live after some time. So. As I mentioned before, I mean, all these times are configurable for time's sake. I did it super quick here, but just to give you an example of some of the ways that you can utilize this tool. Um, also, don't forget that when you program these macros, you can actually program them, um, once they're configured on, the, on PTZ Joy, if you're using a joystick, you can program the joystick buttons to run these macros as well. Um, as well as you know your your keyboard hotkeys, um, as well as any programmable um, uh, switcher like a Stream Deck or X Keys, which is actually going to be my next tutorial, and I'm super excited about it. Um, but yeah, so just keep that in mind. Really handy tool to use. Um, and one other thing that I wanted to show you is there's this other panel here. This here, when, when you're running through your presets, so like if I were to go back to my robot view for my cameras, this is where you can actually see the different, um, the different um, macro scripts that are running, which I think is really cool because you can monitor it. And same here, you can select your, your um, system to monitor. So I'm using a vMix, and here I can actually monitor what, you know, what's in my preview window um, what's in my uh, output window and what camera PTZ Joy is um, able to control at the moment. So really very cool tool. Um, and this button here, um, this can actually block the camera. So if you have something live and you don't want that camera to move on accident or somebody you know move a joystick by mistake or press a key, you can click this button here and it will uh, block the camera, which I think is really handy in a live situation so that you don't have any mistakes happen while you are streaming to a live audience. 
so yeah that is our macro player i hope you guys enjoyed this video and it was informative don't forget to subscribe to our youtube channel and follow us on instagram facebook or linkedin for more um, ptz camera control and automation um, content and different integrations for our Rockasoft PTZ Joy controller and your live production setup. So thank you so much for watching. I will catch you next time. Bye.